Hello guys, Apex Rise here with another video, and in today's video, we are playing some GTA 5, and the new Trafade Nero, or the Bugatti Chiron, or Chiron, whatever it's called, came out today, and it's a Benny's vehicle, and I bought it this morning, and I realized I should have recorded me upgrading it with you guys. I don't know why I did that, my bad. Next time there's a Benny's vehicle that comes out, I will do that. And on Benny's, if you want to know how much it is, you just go right here to stock. It is 1.440, or 1 1,440k, that's how much it costs. And there is a little display of what the stock and custom version would could look like if you upgrade one of these yourself. Now, I personally think this car is badass, and in a later video, I don't know when I'm going to upload it, but maybe I might upload it tomorrow, which is very unusual, but I may upload it tomorrow. It is a race against the Bugatti Trufade, or, sorry, that was, that was, um, that was stupid. The Trufade Nero versus the Pagasi Tempesta, and the Tempesta, or the Tempesta, whatever you would like to call it, is the Lamborghini Huracan slash Gar... Garlotto or Gallardo, however you want to pronounce it. I pronounce it Gallardo because that's what I've heard. It's been called by multiple people. But also, here is my friend Nathan. That was my friend Nathan's near right there. That is the stock non. Well, it's not stock. It's got full engine upgrades, but like not like he didn't do the Benny stuff because that's too much. It's very expensive actually. It's like 605k for the upgrade or custom fee or whatever. But. Here is my version of it, here's the custom, and then there's the non-custom, and we're also going to just do like a little like street race on the road real quick to show you the difference. I actually kind of had a little bit of a late start, but either way, this thing is obviously faster than the normal version. And the normal version, it actually looks really nice, I was tempted to leave mine looking like the normal version, but I kind of, I had to, I had to. This looks so fucking badass. I just love the way the spoiler at the back and the freaking front bumper with the canards and stuff and the splitter, the diffuser, it's really cool. Um, I like the exhaust as well. If you customize this car yourself, you will see the customization for the exhaust. I may actually take this vehicle into Benny's and record it and show you guys just all the customization that this vehicle provides when you purchase it and spend the 1.4 million and then spend the 605k on the car. Um, <clears throat> another thing about this car is around a track against, like if you do competitive GTA circuit racing, I, I find that super fun if like you, like, you know, drive around a track really fast with a whole bunch of friends and like you try to like race like legit, like Forza style, it is very fun, and this car tends to drift around, well not drift, um, sorry, it, like you go around a corner and you hit the apex if you know what that is, um, I don't really want to explain that, it's like, it's a, it's a very good method of turning around the corner, which will give you a, like kind of a little speed boost. That's what hitting the apex is. But anyways, like when you hit the apex in this vehicle, you ugh. also wait before we continue. I just realized that I said hit the apex, and I am apex rise. Hit the uh, okay. Anyways, um, when you hit the apex with this vehicle, <laughs> um, it tends to like your top, like all four of your tires, because this vehicle is all-wheel drive. And like it feels like all the tires kind of like just give out and you just spin out. Like you like you don't spin out like bad where you're like you're not catching up or whatever, but you just spin out to the point where it's just like a little you go a little bit sideways, but then you can pull it back right away. But it's really bad at going against the Tempesta because the Pagasi Tempesta or the Huracan, that vehicle is really very it's very snappy. It's very good around the corners. That thing flies around the track. Um, you'll see in the video of the true fade Nero versus Pagasi um what's it called again Tempesta I don't know why I forgot that but that thing is freaking up that thing's a beast I love it so much that car is faster than this car around the track 100% no no ifs and buts about it I uh, that thing is insanely quick but this vehicle it's got a little bit something else this thing in a straight line against the Lamborghini Tempesta is a lot faster this thing will catch it real quick like this thing hits some sort of like freaking Bugatti tech or some shit I'm not gonna say V tech cuz that's in Honda's but I'm gonna say Bugatti tech the W16 quad turbo just kicks in it's like whoosh and just passes the freaking Huracan it's gone and it's insane um <clears throat> here I'm just showing you the exterior again of this car this car is beautiful I really like the way it looks and here's the stock version also on the um stock non-custom version that wing right there that i'm pointing at actually comes up kind of like a t20 it's a active aero spoiler which is very cool 
And um, LJT. also one thing about these cars is if you put a spoiler on them, they give you traction. And with a custom version, you cannot take off a spoiler, but you make sure you need to purchase one in order to get that little traction boost. And that the um, non-custom version, how it has the active arrow spoiler, actually gives it a little bit of traction when it is up, which is really cool, and I like that a lot. Another thing about the True Fade Nero I like is the interior. It's very unique. No other car in the game has the same looking interior as it, which I like and it's pretty interesting the way it looks. I really like it. It's very like, it's new obviously because there's no other car in the game with this interior which I like a lot and um, yeah I like that a lot. Also the exhaust on this car, those things are cool. I like where they have them but I kind of wish they were below the license plate. It'd be a little bit cooler you know or maybe if the license plate was a bit up more and then the exhaust were right there. I don't mind it too much. It's just a little thing I don't like. But that is okay because this thing still looks really cool. I, I do say I do not like Bugattis too much because they, they're very overrated and they do look a little weird. But, I in this game, I don't know, sometimes I like them. Okay, first, I just don't like how, like, it's a very overrated car. But, the, like, you can say that about a lot of cars. Like, the like Lamborghinis are overrated or GTRs and stuff. And, like, I don't know, I just... Something about Bugattis, I don't like them compared to other vehicles, and I don't know. I really do like the Bugatti Chiron though. This thing is very unique and different and new, kind of like the Koenigsegg one door. And right here, um, what you guys just saw is a little plane race, the Bugatti versus the freaking um, plane, kind of like how in Top Gear they took the, Vi the Veyron versus the Jet. But um, we are coming close to the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and tell your friends about this channel for more great videos like this. Hopefully you guys enjoy this little True Fade Nero review here. Hopefully you guys liked my opinions on this car. And a rate out of 10 for this car, I'd give it a 8 out of 10. This car is pretty unique, um, but it's got some flaws. But hopefully you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys soon.